Are you hungry? Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Gurgat. Again, we're making white asparagus, but I really like it, and it's in season, so you should kind of take advantage of that. Um, we're making white asparagus with a Belle Blanc sauce, um, some grilled carabineros, and kind of a roasted cauliflower puree. Oh, and not to forget, we're making a carabinero head oil. We're basically going to roast the heads of the carabinero and make a flavored oil out of that. It's going to be amazing. And the Beurre Blanc, I'm not making the, like the real classical way. The real classical way, it's um, white wine vinegar and fish stock. But I'm going to do white wine vinegar and some white wine. So I think it goes better with the asparagus. But um, let's have a look at what we have here. And as always, before that, please click the subscribe button. Check the little bell icon to get notifications when uh, new episodes come online. Um, yeah, it really helps me. The more subscribers I have, the, the, the easier the YouTube algorithm kind of shows the content to potential subscribers as well. So don't forget to click the subscribe. But now let's have a look at what we have here. So the star of the show, the asparagus. We have two beautiful carabineros here. We have a cauliflower, some butter, some shallots. I already cut these shallots. And it's not really important how you cut them. Just chop them up however you want it. Because they go into the uh, white wine vinegar and the white wine to kind of just flavor that. Um, and then I'm, I'm, I'm straining them. So they're not going to be in the sauce afterwards. If you want them in the sauce, make sure to chop them really fine. But I'm not keeping them in the sauce. Now we have for flavoring, we have some salt, some white pepper. For the roasted cauliflower puree, we have some cream. This is a neutral oil, grapeseed oil for the um, head oil, the carabinero head oil. And we have some white wine and some white wine vinegar. Now we have quite a lot to do today. So I'm not gonna show you how I cook asparagus and peel asparagus. If you wanna see how I do that, there's a link up there to when I made the uh, white asparagus with the uh, sauce Gribisch. Um, I can just say that I steam them for 17 minutes exactly. That's for me the sweet spot. But now let's start with what takes the longest, and that's the roast the cauliflower. And together with them, we'll put in the heads of the carabineros into the oven, because both of those need to roast. Let's start with the cauliflower. As you can see, I've kind of pulled off the leaves. It's just the stalk left, the stem. Be careful when you do this. Just go around it over an oven tray with olive oil. You can basically just pick them out. These are all going to be pureed up, so you don't really care how they look. Left with this, we don't need it. This is what we need. So that goes into the oven. At around 200 degrees, probably takes an hour. Half time, turn the cauliflower. So they get kind of roasted on all sides. Aren't these beautiful? You basically, like with every shrimp, you just kind of pull the head off. I put the head in an oven form. And this goes into the oven as well with the cauliflower. It doesn't matter. These take quicker. They're about probably 20 minutes to roast them. But we'll leave them in there for 20 minutes and then we'll take them out to make the oil. Now for the rest, you can try to kind of pull out the intestine. Like you don't need to eat, and otherwise you just peel it like a shrimp. They have a beautiful red color, these carabineros. I'll try to peel it with the end intact, because it just looks nicer. I'm not sure I will manage on both of them. There we go. Two beautiful tails of carabinero. We can put these two in the fridge for now. 
Um, they go into the pizza oven at around 400 degrees, so that will go really fast and we do that just at the end. Let's get the reduction started for the beurre blanc. I will do around 200 milliliters of white wine. And 100 milliliters of white wine vinegar. This is just my preferred mix. You can change it as you want. The more vinegar, obviously, the more kind of sour it will be. And now you just put the shallots in there. And then this goes on the stove to reduce down quite heavily. You want maybe two tablespoons left at the end. And then you strain it. You can see we have done a nice reduction. We're where we want to be, we'll turn off the stove. We'll strain it and then we'll put it back in here. And now we're going to whisk in our cold butter. This has been in the fridge the whole time. It said it was, uh, the sauce was discovered by chance by a French chef in Nantes that was going to make bernets but forgot the eggs. As you can see, all butter is melted. It's a smooth, glossy structure. And now all that's left is seasoning. Salt and white pepper. Pinch of salt couple of turns on the white pepper. A quick taste. Mm. Great. Nice and acidic, but not too acidic. Now you can leave this on the lowest heat possible until you're done with the rest. Our heads are done. Took about 20 minutes. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but there's a lot of nice juices that came out of them. Now what I like to do, now you can see the juices. I take them, we have another pot, and I just use a good scissor to kind of cut them into smaller pieces. But you want to keep everything. Perfect. That's still a bit hot. So I want to make sure that we get all the good juices in. And now a neutral oil, it's very important. In this case, grapeseed oil, but you can also use canola or something else neutral. And then this goes on the stove, just to heat the oil slightly and kind of get it to mix with the flavors. So as you know, mishaps happen, especially when you're trying to be your kind of one-man production crew and cook at the same time. So I missed to turn the camera on when I was um, kind of filtering the, the head oil. But I'll show you this. The head is in here and the oil is in there. And what I also mentioned, that I will re-mention because I didn't film, is that this keeps quite well. So use what you need and then you can keep the rest in the fridge. I would say for even a week or two. And you can use it for other things because it's a beauty. So now we filmed it. Our cauliflower is roasted. In here you see about, I would say, two tablespoons of butter. We have some cream, we have our mixer. Now this is hot, so we're gonna take it and then kind of we have butter, cauliflower, and we add a bit of cream. Not too much. Now it's time to first kind of press it with the mixer. It's going to be very soft because if you start the mixer now, it's going to go everywhere. It might still go everywhere, but at least like this, we try to minimize it. And the butter will melt nicely from the heat of the cauliflower. Now we can start running it. Protect with the hand. So I'm happy with that. It's time to season it. Just a bit of salt. You kind of want to keep the natural sweetness of the cauliflower. Now, 
in pretentious restaurants, they would probably put this through some kind of colander or sieve to make it smooth. But I like this rustical that you feel that it's cauliflower. I'll give it a try. Perfect. So that's done as well. So all you need to do with the carabineros is pour a bit of olive oil on top and make sure it's kind of smeared everywhere because otherwise it will stick when it goes into the really hot pan. Now we're ready to fry them. Time to get these babies in. It's very hot, so you have to be quick. Maximum a minute per side. I think we can turn them. Back in. And we're done. Let's get ready to plate this. First, our beurre blanc. And we take three asparagus. Now for our cauliflower puree. I don't want it to mix with the sauce on the plate because it makes the sauce kind of thick and yeah, it becomes, it becomes a mix and it's nicer to separate them. Now for our carabinero. And last but not least, our oil. This oil is to die for. That's why I'm kind of putting it everywhere. And a bit of green. Doesn't that look nice? And now for the best part as always, the tasting. Just first asparagus with some beurre blanc. It's so nice when asparagus is in season because they have almost no bitterness to them. Sometimes you can get really bitter asparagus, but these are wonderful. Try a piece with the cauliflower puree. This is such a good combination. It's nice to know these basic sauces like a beurre blanc because if you know it, you can change it and adapt it to a new dish. I, I'm, I'm sure someone else has done this before and I, I didn't come up with it, but you know, if, if you think of a beurre blanc, it's white wine vinegar, it's fish stock and butter. And then you think, okay, for this, I, I might not want to have fish stock. I'll use a white wine instead. The perfect combination you have a bit of sweetness both from the carabinero and from the uh, cauliflower puree you have a sourness from the beurre blanc and a bit of the sweetness also from 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 the asparagus it's just a it's a round dish and perfect now for when asparagus is in season i made another asparagus dish a couple of weeks ago i'll link to it here with uh, also classical sauce the sauce cribiche but i think i actually prefer this they're both great, but this is a bit more elegant, maybe. Huh? As always, I hope you have enjoyed the episode. Uh, if you have, please do me a favor, leave a comment below and click the like button. That helps me a lot. It shows that you kind of like what I'm doing. And if you haven't done so yet, click the subscribe button. But that's it for this episode. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.